Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome back to Frostpunk 2. In our first episode, we established the city of New London, we got everything up and running, and for the most part, things are relatively calm. We have very little to no tension, actually it's absent, but we do have a little bit of crime. We're cold, because we need some people, and then we have a little bit of disease, but it is diminishing. Now, we discovered oil. Now, all we have to do is build up enough cores, enough uh, whatever they're called, Frostland teams, excuse me, and in a prefabs to be able to establish a colony on it, which does mean we are going to experience two or at least multiple, potentially several multiple cities all at once. So if you're excited about this episode, just like I am, be sure to support the channel by giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, of course, leaving your comments in the comments section down below, anything that would engage you and thus the YouTube algorithm. So let's dive right on into it. We are researching the idea for a subsidized housing block, which would allow us to then fill our empty slots with all the things. Yeah, we don't want to do that in order to uh, fulfill our shelter demand. And as you can see here, we have a lot of food surplus and a lot of materials surplus that we can use to make some more industrial districts. Now, one of the things that I changed, let me know what you think about this, by the way, there is a dark overlay that I forgot existed, and I think it actually looks pretty darn cool. Uh, but let me know what you think, and I'll switch it back maybe once I see it. I'm recording multiple episodes since I'll be gone uh, away at TwitchCon at the point when I'm able to put these all out uh, in subsequent areas. So, oh sweet, we got our cores from sending our team. Fantastic. All right, we need another team, desperately, but we need 400 workforce in order to get there. So let's see if there's anything out here in a boot here. Nothing there. Cool. Uh, let's see. Another one there. The Highlands possibly have some, but it requires 20 people to go explore it. I think all of these do. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and launch that expedition there under Jasper Cox. Thank you, Jasper Cox, for your uh, bravery into the unknown. And yeah, we basically just need people. So there's not a lot that I can do at the moment. Hubs only cost a very limited amount. The kicker is, is that I need, there's a lot of coal available to us, right? But if we were to get up to that 50,000, we literally waste the resources, which is not something I agree with. I think it should stop. Uh, I think it should stop before it gets to that point. But regardless, we're at the point now where we need to increase, gives us a stockpile capacity for everything. And then demand and extraction districts is decreased. Let's just go ahead and put it there. I don't think we're going to be able to optimize, but I want to be able to increase the amount of uh, what I'm able to store sweet. Now we have subsidized housing block, new building proposed, which means here we go, 100 or 50 workforce, 100 heat stamps and 50 prefabs. So if we were to build that here for right now, we need to just push as hard as we can. Okay, cool. We're, we're out of workforce. Cool. All right, what do we have here? Spinning dog hair in a yarn. Ouch, my finger. These spindles. Mrs. Boss Lady keeps joking. If I, uh, I'll fall asleep and get woken by a prince. I don't get it. If a prince came near me, I'd rob him blind and make him do bloody spinning. But it's all right. Going to beat my record today. Nice, strong yarn. Auntie Mabel says, if I can weave, I can work with her at the mill. Beats freezing in the streets. Family apprentice promises a better future for the children of the city. Sweet. That should increase the trust, in my opinion, but that's okay. We will get it figured out. Okay, we're almost there. Sweet. We now have a surplus in that area. Steward, there are complaints about our quarantine policy. For separation from loved ones is difficult. It's especially hard for parents whose children are quarantined alone. One such mother comes to the quarantine facility every day, asking to be allowed in. He's deathly afraid of being alone, can't cope without me. The pilgrims are such a minor people right now. Seriously, there's only 638 members, where there's like 5,000 plus for the other people. So we're not gonna worry about that. I get it. It's tough, but the needs of the city trump everything else. You know what? I actually don't like the dark UI entirely much. Let's switch back real quick. Yeah, I like this better. There's a lot more stuff you can see. Yeah, that's a little hard to read, but I think it's fine. All right, the longing of a little heart. Steward the young boy whose mother knocks on the gates is faring very badly. Our doctors can't fully explain why he doesn't respond. Child may fully never recover. I understand. I get it. But like, no, we're not going to risk spreading disease and reducing our already strapped workforce. It's just not going to happen. 
All right, what's cool though here is that we can uh, destroy this, which means we get our workforce back. We get uh, heat stamps and prefabs back as well. And we're going to switch that straight over into an industrial district, uh, especially once it gets removed because we desperately need that. We also have prefabs here that I actually didn't even notice. I'm sure there's the possibility that several of y'all were screaming at me, which is understandable. And we just got more people living with us. Okay, cool. Nope, we can deal with that. We can actually utilize that a lot. So we're going to rock and roll. And then I am going to go ahead and build another industrial district. We're going to build it right here, trying to take advantage of the heat as best we can. Oh, nice. We get both of it. Sweet. That works for us. And then we're going to utilize that. Oh, come on. I need more prefabs. We need to build another way station so we can get enough teams to do all the things. 90 year old, 90 summers, well, winters. I've had a good life. Well, I've had a life. Not everyone in the old Queen Hythe crew can say the same. I've always thought I'd be sharing the Lily's grave, my Liddy's grave, but now Pete's pressuring me to donate my body to the city. Apparently, them doctors are using dead folk's skin to fix up frostbite. Can't they leave me alone? Haven't I been through enough? Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a look at survival. Ah, no, the city. Society, there we go. So right now, we could do harvesting funerals. Research speed is increased. Disease is slightly decreased. The likelihood that people in the city will get sick. Increasing as their bodies are worn down. Okay. Or trust loss resulting from deaths is decreased. Uh, more people actually want to go for that. And it's supported by the stalwarts as well. So we're going to negotiate. The new Londoners are open to negotiate. The stalwarts, they won't. They want this, so they're not going to do that. The pilgrims won't because, well, uh, it's against their worldview. So what we're going to do, we're going to open it up to the new Londoners. And then what do we need to do in advance? So machine centric shifts, put pressure, less pressure on workers. Workplaces may keep machine powered stuff. A mechanized sawmill. We'll go ahead and do that. That's fine. We're going to do that in the future anyways, I think. So let's go ahead and vote for it. Very nice. Pass with flying colors. I just love the screenshot. I love it so much. And now we have to research it. So I, <laughs> I freaking hope I can able to do that. Sawmills. Cool. We can't. Let's go ahead and do that. We said we would do mechanized sawmill. I have to do it for a certain perks. Uh, promise to the new Londoners. So I don't know if it matters, but we're going to do it for the new Londoners. I don't know if it matters if we do that there. Uh, I think everyone agrees, so it's fine. We're going to go and research the idea, though, so that way we're done with it entirely. Okay, so now we can go here. We can expand this as well. We're not going to do this because we could increase the squalor. And I don't want to worry about squalor. It's not worth the heat reduction. And then this, we're making 15 a week. We could expand that. It would require me to expand the city a little bit. Is there anything over here? I think it's just the edge of the map. There we go. That works for me. Ah, dadgummit. I keep on getting not enough prefabs. It's killing me. Nice. We did that. The demands were met. Their trust has improved. Now, remember, we really kind of ruined the trust because we went ahead and we did... Uh, oh. Oh, I see. That was a half. Okay, I'm, I'm a bit of a dingleberry. Didn't realize that's what that all was for, but that's all good. All right, cool. 100 heat stamps and prefabs. We'll get there in just a second. Sweet. All right, now what do we have over here? Stalwarts suggest action. Steward, we're struggling with heat stamps. They come forward with an idea. We should pass mass-produced goods, pursue it, and the city will benefit. The stalwarts look at distrust with other communities proposed. They would surely appreciate you getting behind them. I don't know. Oh, I have to... Oh, I don't know that mass-produced goods is what we want. Let me look and see, because I think we already have... Okay, cool, we don't. Oh, that's the only option we have. Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll vote for it. It's already got 45 as a base, so 51 shouldn't be hard. Piece of cake, really easy to do. Overall, not a big deal. And now we also have enough people here to do all the things. We need 100 prefabs in order to make the other things work. Nice. All right, cool. So we're in the positive for everything but goods. We should probably work on that. Steward, the Frostlanders are furious that the durable goods law is no longer in force. Oh, I totally was just... I need to slow it down. I need to slow it down. Uh, no, we're just going to ignore for now. Sorry. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. 
What can we do to... We'll grant them an agenda. That'll be what they can do. They choose the law, and if it doesn't pass, it doesn't pass. It's not our problem. Uh, but for now, what we need to do is we need to wait until we have the prefabs ready, and then we can move uh, move onwards. Yeah, we need to roll it quick because we only have 26 weeks there. We only have seven weeks remaining there, and I don't think we have any more coal deposits. We have no more coal deposits, so we need to really desperately work because I don't have enough here to handle it. All right, we have the ability to build our colony. We're going to send the colonists. 3,000 colonists will settle there. Awesome. All right, so they want to work on community service expedition support. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it to the vote. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, it barely passed, but it still passed nonetheless. Sweet. Now, they did explore this area, so I'm assuming we could probably gather people. An old coal-hauling crawler, half buried in snow. It appears the transport's device was tampered with. Graffiti has been etched. New London leeches. Regardless of what happens, the coal's art for the taking. Yeah, that's fine. That'll actually help us quite a bit. it give us a bit of a reserve to work on. Sweet. Stuart, father has come to our offices with his son. They both ask you to hear them out. Boy is not cut out for a blacksmith. His knack is for words, poetry. I can bend steel, but he can stir souls. Please let him be apprenticed under someone who can teach him to use his talents. Their plea echoes the sentiment that family apprenticeship limits the prospects. That's fine. They but willing mentor shouldn't be forced into an apprenticeship. That's, uh, yeah, okay, it's fine. We're, we'll still get people. There we go. Yeah, we still got people, so we're good. We're totally fine. Not going to worry about it. Uh, what do we have here? What's up with this? Oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and reduce that there. I don't know what that housing symbol means. Oh, it's probably that there's not enough people, perhaps? I'm not sure. But regardless, these guys are going to bring in a good lump of coal. Sweet. But we're at minus 420 now because it is colder. It's hecking cold. And there's not much that we can do about it. But if we were to go over here and check out the hubs... <gasps> there's so many hubs. Node connecting districts through elevated railways. Efficiency in neighboring extraction industrial or food resources. Emergency medical hub. Air transport hub. Workforce decrease in workforce requirement in neighboring districts is just decreased straight up. Materials demand is decreased. Crime in neighborhood is decreased. Tension is decreased. There's a lot of really great things we have here. Hospitals, youth. Liberated youth, young adults are encouraged to experiment. Percentage of active workers is increased. No one else can do things. That's really cool, actually. We have hospitals. That's really cool. There's so much we can do here. Now, I don't necessarily have the funds, I don't think. I, I do, but it's not massive. We went Skyways. Unlock Skyway connections, which can be built in the Frostland to allow transport of more resources from colonies and outposts. Harvester hangers. Speed up food extraction. This just straight up gives a boost to uh, team outputs. And a scout's headquarters. Exploration time and territory threat levels decrease. That's actually all really, really good. Uh, but what do we need? What do we need the most? Filtration towers. What do those do? Significantly decrease. We don't have an issue with those. Oh, we could get really good um, food output. We could get a lot of demand out of those. We don't need any more coal for now anyways. Material output. No, we already have the... We have the hub for the mechanized sawmill. But we don't really need it right now, so I'm not going to do it. And that would increase our heat demand. So that's not going to be good for us. How long will this last? Spending will last for 15 weeks. That's not good. That's not good at all. Are they here yet? They're not here. Construction time is 15 weeks. Okay. The old dreadnought has a population of 3,000. And it looks like we have to start over as well. What is this? Oh, all right. Steward, everyone in New London is awaiting the moment we got a steady supply of oil. So many fears would vanish, so many dreams made possible. But those dreams seem to be diverging. Stalwarts paint visions of an eternally warm New London, as warm as only the eldest among us remember. But pilgrims want to use the newfound power to reach out and settle remote places on the Frostland. All right, they're going to think about how we use the oil. 
but here it is nonetheless. So if you were, if you play the prologue, you'll know that this is where we need to be in the prologue to make things work. And so what we need to do is we need to get the generator up and running, which does require us to go after some oil. So we need to do everything we can with the materials that we have. We do have a good starting point, but you'll all notice, that, oh, we don't need to worry about food. I think we're going to need to worry about food, but I'm not quite sure how we'll get to it. We don't need housing, just... Oh, no, we do need housing. Kidding. There we go. But I'm also going to frost break into this direction. So what we need to do is we need extraction here. We need to go ahead and build a housing district. And then do we need to frost break even more we probably do but in which direction is the biggest thing is there anything down here there's nothing down here so let's go ahead and frost break into this area right like that we got a population increase over in new london sweet we have 60 oil we're going to turn on the generator and you can see that that oil goes further than uh than anything else sweet 13 thousand weeks remaining it's a lot of weeks my friend that is a lot of weeks and then we are going to go ahead and get an extractor here with an expansion okay sweet so how do we get we have that let's go over to new london this is a really weird angle okay cool right there all right so we have very very little coal and anything left what do we got over here Food, hot food in exchange for nothing. They could have just ignored me. Discarded me. I would have understood. Instead, they fed me, clothed me, smiled at me like I'm a person. Never thought I'd see the day when my city would provide for someone like me. Okay, I'll give back. That's cool. I like that a lot. So the real question is, what do we need to do here? Do we need to exploit more so we can get more oil? I'm kind of, I'm confused on how we transfer. Maybe we can go out to here. Nope, nope, I don't want any of that. I don't want to have anything to do with any of that. No, okay, I think what we need to do is just figure out an expansion idea. They're gonna get prefabs, which is great. Let's get into, I don't want charcoal plants. I need oil extraction. There's fuel. So do I need to get into worker shifts? Weather adjusted shifts, machine centric shifts. Let's go with machine centric for now. That should help us. And then what do we need here? Workforce and heat stamps. Okay, well, I can't reach down there for oil, but I also can't reach out here for oil either. Almost, but just not quite. And so I could sacrifice. Our last mine is one dry. Oh no. We need to find a long-term solution fast. Yes, we do. Um, that is correct. But my question is, how do we transfer? It's not telling me how we transfer. We could build a subsidized housing block there. That's hilarious. We're not going to do that, though. I have to figure out how to get oil over there. Okay, I need 600 workforce for an extraction. But the th kicker is, is that we have no materials and everything else is scarce. What do we have here? Back from the city store. Let's see. A bar of soap. Smells like who? Hemp undervest. Itchy. Sucks I couldn't get new socks. Ran out of allocation. Bollocks. What's the point of being a foreman if I get the same allocation? Basic necessities is causing tension. I think we'll be okay. But the kicker is that we're not okay Remember, because we have nothing pumping on the generator. There's only five prefabs remaining. No, we're just going to go ahead and demolish it. I'm not going to repair that for the lack of prefabs. And then, yeah, we desperately need to figure that out. Okay, cool. Old Dreadnought. Let's figure you out. I don't know how to get you to do more. We may have to decrease this. Decrease it for now. We'll get us enough people where we can then extract this, which should give us a big boost. What are we voting on? Worker shifts, machine-centric shifts. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's going to pass. Nice. That should help us a whole heckin' lot. My kicker. What's up? Send resources to New London. 
Yeah, that's fine. What are we doing? I need to be able to... I don't know how to extract. All right, yeah, we'll resolve the issue. Yep, that's fine. But what I need to be able to do is find a way to get these... To get these... Uh, get this oil. Multiple pods of whales froze here after being pursued by humanity's last whaling vessels into the freezing harbor. Scouts are amazed at the massive bodies made pale by the ice. I found my white whale, Scout Commander jokes. No one laughs. Years ago, the captain sent a team with machines to bore through the ice and mine out the whale meat. We can take the machines back to New London to its six extraction or put a new team. Um, this is just straight up. Percentage change to resource output. Just straight up. Or build a food outpost. I'm not going to deal with that right now. I'm trying to figure out how in the heck we're going we're gonna to be able to get oil to these things. Okay. So if we click on this, here we go. I had to look at it. Resource transfer. Right now we only have the availability to send 45, which is fine. That should still help. We can send a good number of resources here. Be able to cap that. And then we should be good there. Let's transfer those resources. Right now we're only doing 40 out of 75, which is fine. But what does that look like over in here? How are we still, how low are we still? We're still massively low, so we are going to have to discover, we're going to have to discover mountain stuff. Like, we got to go get all of those things. We've got to get, we got to get more coal. We've got to do something, because I can't do it all. We need to send people. How many people do we have here? We have 3,700 people. Let's go ahead and transfer people. We're going to send a lot of people over to, we'll send 1,900 to relocate. But we can ice break over here, Correct. Yep, we have enough heat stamps. We need to be able to get down to this stuff. We do have a couple of prefabs. We have to remember we can get down there. We're going to do that there. We don't have enough workforce. We'll get them. Sweet, our workforce is here, but we do have a massive decrease in food, which is fine. We'll figure it out. I'm more concerned about being able to get this right there. And then we're going to extract some prefabs. Is that all that we really have here? And there's really not even a lot. Yeah, we're getting a lot of people freezing to death. Which is why I'm kind of in a hustle and bustle to get this done. Now we're about to hit a positive. There we go. Warmer season's going to help. But it's still not enough. Let's get that rocking and rolling. Oh, we have... Okay, we have tons of people freezing to death. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's get over here. Saying herself, I can see it's a little blurry. Doctor told me I'm going to keep improving. Harvesting funerals given a second chance. Nice. I asked those whose cornea I owe my new sight. A young lad fell from a, loof, a rooftop. Probably had a whole family to feed. When they released me, first thing I'll do is go and see them. I'll make some, take some rations. Yeah, we are, we're in a pickle. We're in a big, giant, freaking pickle is what we are. Uh, we need to transfer as much resources as possible. Transfer those resources. Anticipation fills the air as the first transport of oil is sent. Dream of a future without feeling cold. To make it happen, we need to modify the generator to turn this black gold into heat. This will be irreversible. What future we build for ourselves will depend on it. How do we do that? Oh boy. Chapter 2. Ambitions. People cheer as oil reaches the city, but the question of what it means for our future remains. The years of suffering are coming to an end. Let us improve the generator further and pump oil until the snows of the city melt forever. However, the pilgrims disagree. What stalwarts want is hubris. New London won't last forever. The frost is our reality. We have to embrace it. Venture forth. Use the oil to settle new homes in the white beyond. Stalwarts would approve if we go after the we will defeat the frost. Unlocks oil pumps. Generator upgrade that uses only oil. Unlocks ability to exploit unlimited deep deposits. Or we can embrace the frost. Adaptive pump that use any fuel. Unlocks unlimited output frostland settlements. Hmm. Unlimited output frostland settlements or unlimited deep deposits. We know for sure that there are coal mines elsewhere. I don't know why we would need to use them if we have unlimited deep deposits and it only uses oil. Hybrid is awesome. I mean, the oil deposits are like 15,000 weeks, so I don't know how far we would get there in that instance anyways. Unlimited output frostland settlements. 
I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do I have to go. Yep, we're gonna do it. First, need to upgrade the generator with oil pumps to use the new fuel. Research and further upgrade the generator with surplus injectors to make new Londoners warmer than ever. Oil pump generator upgrade is unlocked and available to be built. Melting deep deposits and generator upgrade research are unlocked. All right, tension is stupidly high. We are going to go with free essential trust rises. We don't need to worry about trust. I think we need to do paid. We're going to negotiate. We'll negotiate with the Frostlanders. Hydraulic pump jack. Facility injecting high pressure water in the ground to speed up oil extraction. Causing minor impurities to seep into the drinking water. Let's go with a bio waste hothouse. Yeah, let's go and do that. That's fine. Let's vote for it. The tension is intense right now. And you can tell by that voting there. That's wild. I love it though. Alright, we need to... Construct generator oil pumps in the central district. That's going to be under our hubs. Build prisons to use roundup militants. Oh no, the growing fervor of certain groups has become a cause for alarm. Build enough prison space where guards could place such militants in preventative arrest. No, we're uh, we're okay. We just got to make it through. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we did it, guys. Oh, we're we're okay. Tension should drastically decrease now. It should no longer be catastrophic. Research and construct generator surplus injectors. That's going to be over in heating. Generator upgrade one. We're going to research the idea for 100 buckaroonies. Advanced delivery mechanisms. Heat surplus generator, which burns all excess fuel to increase output of all districts by up to 15%. Okay. That should solve the problem. Uh... The thing is, over in here, is that we don't have the capabilities to do much. We need to expand our housing district, which means we are now going to need to expand that way. We need prefab production, which is going on there. We're not going to do a research institute, none of that stuff. Whew. All right, I think we're okay. It's not the best. We could definitely meet the demand there. Over trails capacity. Okay. Okay. Oh, snap. That's really cool. We can just automatically send the stockpile supplies. Which means we do need... Well, that's really loud in my ears. We need a hub. A fuel stockpile hub would be perfect right there. Sweet. That increases by a lot. And if we were to go over now to New London, we have quite a large stockpile supply. Stockpile full. Well, so that means in theory we should be able to we don't want to relocate, allocate that. We're going to meet the demand there. We're going to transfer those resources. And it's already full, which means we need to build another material stockpile. Yes. There we go. And we do have a rather large food stockpile that we need to expand into, which is totally fine. And in fact, oh, we can't build another food district because we need more prefabs. Well, we can totally build another industrial district, am I right? Should be able to build an industrial district. And that might be better there. Now, the tension should start decreasing. Severe cold is diminishing. We should be okay. Steward, now that we're charging for essentials, some unemployed families are unable to afford basic necessities. We're going to let them fend for themselves. Nope, we're going to let them fend for themselves. And we, I mean, there's only 300 technically unemployed people. Uh, so we're not going to be concerned about it. We have more than enough supplies there. Dust coal mine, a mechanized sawmill. Yeah, we'll go and do that. Just have some fun. All right, and then we are going to work on prefab production here instead. We now have a food. Uh, we're not at a surplus, but we're at the even, which is great. And then we're at plus 40% oil. Sweet. Okay. We're actually kind of leveling out all right. 
Over here, though, they're freezing. They're freezing to death, quite literally. So let's go ahead and build some more housing. We need food. The real question is, can I transfer food? I can transfer a few, which at least lessens things a bit. Skyways. Skyways are used to transport significant amounts of uh, resources across the Frostland. Linking an outpost using Skyways increases its resource output. Establishing a Skyway connection also improves shipping capacities of resource transfer. Bonuses only apply if entire connection from one location is entirely used by Skyways. Okay, I'd have to research that, but that's definitely something worth looking into. All right, we went towards the battered foothills. A jettison secondary engine of a dreadnought. Under its hull, we found a core. Unreproducible component from before the frost used to power our most uh, advanced technology. No, we can definitely dismantle that. An old observatory often attracts outcasts and scavengers who would rather live together in cold isolation than follow the laws of New London. Settlement has been in decline since the collapse of the observation tower. Some may be willing to reconsider their situation. I will come back later. An abandoned coal mine, a mining complex inhabited by children a long time ago. This was from the first Frostpunk, if I remember correctly. Over the years, they grew older, became citizens. The last miners were ordered home by the captain, but we know some coal remains. The approach uh, trail is in poor condition. We found a warehouse with prefabs the captain intended to use to improve it. We could take them or leave them in place. We could get 300 prefabs. Using the mine will take fewer Frostland teams. We're going to take it because we can't use it. The mining complex once inhabited... Oh, that's right. An outpost here could increase our supply by 250 coal until its deposit is depleted. We don't need to complete the trails. High pass is dangerous. The gorge is also dangerous. Let's see. Adaptation is the only way to live. We'll convince them all. That's fine. We have 15 teams. We need 20 just to make things work. Resource deposits nearly depleted. That's just the uh, prefabs. We don't need to worry about that. That's all, in my opinion. Alrighty then. We almost have enough people here, which means we would be good enough. We're not going to worry about Squalor, so I need to be able to push into new boundaries. I'm actually not sure how far we take this, to be honest. Maybe if we convince people to come by, uh, once we have the other extraction things, maybe that's why you would want to have tons more housing here. I'm really not sure. Hopefully I'm making the right choice here is my thing. Well, regardless, we have a lot of people. All right. And we are extracting more than what we have available to us. So there is that. Over New London, though, we're at plus 40. Okay. Generator surplus injectors. Which is going to be here at Central. We need four cores and 300 heat stamps. Okay, cool. Uh, Prit a prosthetics mass produced goods. Stuart, a young engineer, brought us novel designs to mass create prosthetics with minimum amount of resources. Manufactured in standard sizes, they would allow maimed workers to get back in the saddle in no time. Sure, it won't be the sturdiest, but the cost practically nothing. If one breaks, folk will quickly get another one. Increases the percentage of active workers, but increases material demands. We're okay. We're definitely okay to do that. More amputees return to work. That's fantastic. We just need a place for them all to do stuff. And then these guys are really intense. Let's build some trust. We'll grant them an agenda. That might help them a little bit. What are they setting? Heat pipe watch. Heat demand is decreased. Yeah, let's go ahead and vote for it. Let's see what happens. It's going to be pretty close. I don't know that they have the vote confidence to be able to get in. Oh, they just barely got it. I love it, though. All right, cool. Well, that actually helps us. Ah, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm way too, too hasty. Way too hasty for sure. Okay, we need four prefab, or we need four cores. Uh, there's lots of stuff we got to tackle all at once here, isn't there? We need more. We need more durable access into this area. Sweet. What else is there to dive into? We've got a lot of... We don't have a lot left, actually. 
in all. Uh, let's not waste the prefabs and all of that stuff. We could build another industrial sector, though. Get our goods production uh, to where it's in the positive. That would be that would be the best thing, I think. Oh, very nice. Deep melting drill. Installation using heat from the oil powder generators. This is what we need desperately in order to access... Uh, what is it? Yes, look at that. 100 million food and then we have a deep one here 100 million frozen forest and there's actually two 100 million frozen forests so that would actually be the best thing for us right now though it looks like crime is something that is happening quite a bit we need to keep our eye on that but we need to go back to the frost land as well we need to start digging deeper research and construct generators we don't necessarily need the oil stockpile right now. We're going to go into the highlands. See if there's anything there. And then while we're at it, changing your broken prosthetic hand. Jeez, that's the second one this month. Thank goodness I always carry a spare. Three more at home. The new grossmith design's a bit flimsy, but at least we no longer have to worry about prosthetic supply. Whole city could lose a hand. We'd have some to spare. Stuart. Some researchers and doctors have petitioned us to preserve the remains of corpses that have been harvested. Science knows no bounds. Incinerating harvested bodies, returning the ashes is a waste of potential. Oh, I can't do that. I can't, I can't do that. The trust, I need to build the trust up. And I can't do that. I can't do that. I just can't. Uh, can we build? Oh, that's right. We need more cores. All right. So I worked very hard mind you, to try and get access to this unlimited supply of 200 million food. However, when I go, the deep melting drill takes a core. We don't want to use a core for this, so we're not going to use a core for this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're not going to do that at all. We're going to see what happened over here in our, uh, what is this? Hag Hills? We have an abandoned Lazarus. Hastily built in the 1901 plague, these buildings were used to quarantine infected New Londoners. They now lie silent and forgotten. 300 prefabs are come back later. Uh, some will be angered by our... Okay, we don't want to anger anyone now. Scouts have met the wise woman for which these hills are famed. Some are in fact New Londoners who left during the captain's first days. They'd be pleased to return now that we have a council. However, some of the most loyal followers consider these women traitors and think that they should remain in exile. Come back later. An abandoned research station. Our scouts found a circle of frozen naked bodies lying around a strange idol made of ice. Nearby sat a pile of stalwart uniforms. Stations fallen into disappear. We could salvage it for prefabs, but the stalwarts prefer we destroy and redact it from the official records. Plus 300 prefabs would be really good. We're going to come back later because none of those are things that I want to deal with at the moment. What I need are cores. I need cores desperately. We're going to go into the mountains. We're going to see if anything happens there. But yeah, we definitely need cores. Send regular workers. Do we need a reserve? Uh, we actually probably do. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that because you can see there we have a big old fat uh, multiple cold fronts coming through. 72 died in an accident while salvaging the oil tanker. Well, that's just what happens. We still need another core, desperately. I just got to figure out how to get one. All right, let's see what uh, Tesla Peak has to offer. Captain himself ordered this mine dug as a new London's coal began to dwindle. Hastily laid trail was lost to whiteouts. Okay, we don't need to worry about that one. Tall towers can be spotted. Further exploration has been hindered by the constant winds shearing glaciers. Our scouts noted some tunnels by Tesla City head in this direction. We could outfit an expedition. Yeah, why not? Send everyone there. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are at the end of our episode. End of everything all well and good. We are okay. It's not the best. It's not the best at all. We're heading towards equality. We are heading towards progress, which is something we haven't really worried about too much. But what we need are cores. We need to activate and research surplus injectors. We need to have them and re research melting deep deposits and build a drill. But that requires cores. 
and we don't want to waste it. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do to engage the YouTube gods and that algorithm by giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and leaving your comments in the comments section down below. Oh, we'll see what happens in the next episode of Frostpunk 2 as we get into it. Thank you so much again for watching. This is Havoc. I'll see you in the next one.